Ingrid was saying earlier, like, even software developers like us, you know, can get, I mean, the internet is confusing. It's hard to understand how it works. Um, and I've been helping out with the mesh for a couple months now and definitely wanted to or realized like how little I understood about how networking actually works, routers and switches and how pieces come together, um, how you would actually build a network, um, and wanted to build a model. Uh, I was also helping try to build some of the firmware. So we have a software stack that runs on all the routers, which we're hoping to update. And in an effort to build some of that, got frustrated in not being able to build it and wanted to look at some alternatives for the software. And, you know, it's really complex. There are a lot of pieces that make that software stack work. Um, and I think it was, I found it at least really difficult for myself to understand or to evaluate different pieces of software you might use going forward, whether that was the next version of the software we already have or another one. Um, just too hard by just reading a documentation. Uh, so I wanted to build or be able to at least experiment with um, like a synthetic network. What would be an easy way to kind of see this stuff in action? Um, whether, the, like I said, that was our existing distribution or another, be able to spin up, you know, at least we have probably something over 30 nodes running in the mesh right now. Um, at least that many, but maybe more, and see how it worked, like how much traffic was going in between which nodes, what would happen if you segmented the network in a different way. Um, and I looked at a couple pieces of software that already exist. There's a product by Cisco, which didn't, at least as far as I could tell, I didn't actually try it. It's called VIRL, I believe. Um, didn't have a GUI, really. It was kind of difficult to set up. There's another one called GNS3, which I played around with a little. Um, but the, the GUI for that is like a native thing. Um, it's, it's pretty good. It's based around um, spinning up the instances, the nodes, um, as full-blown virtual machines. I think there is now a way to do it with Docker. So you can do it with containers. Uh, but I wanted something that was much simpler. Like I knew how to use um, kind of like raw Linux containers. Uh, just with namespace tools and with system DN spawn, like a very lightweight tool to bring up um, containers, and wanted to have something that was at its core a server that would basically just be able to spin up uh, Linux containers on a single machine, uh, and then to expose the interface for controlling it and, and adding um, what are called virtual Ethernet devices in between the nodes. Uh, with either programmatically, or sorry, not programmatically, uh, through a command line interface, or with a, a graphical user interface. Um, so really, my hope was to build something that we could use. And, and just to step back a little bit uh, earlier on, um, Brian, Brian has a database, like a full database of everybody who has an active node or um, like a potential node um, in a spreadsheet. And we were able to get that data out as GIS data um, so that we can look at each of the nodes and where they are, how far apart they are, and which nodes connect to which nodes. So there's, there's a, a list of all the nodes and then the, their links. So um, potentially being able to take, I wanted to have a tool that would be able to take that data and basically inflate a synthetic model of our existing network with and, and to try it with different pieces of software running on the nodes firmware. Um, so far, I really just have um, the server part, the component which, and it, it, I would say, you know, you can interface with it from the command line, but you have to kind of bring your own uh, images, whether those are binaries, x86 binaries that are built by LibreMesh or QMP or whatever you have, um, or you can build your own um, it will allow you to basically create nodes, um, assign them to a given network, so you can kind of have multiple networks running at the same time, and then to easily 
and, and you can do this already, uh, even at the command line with IP route, if you guys are familiar with that. Uh, Linux command line tool for working with the uh, kernel networking stack. But um, to be able to bring up these virtual Ethernet devices and insert them into containers to kind of simulate these links that we have in the real world. Um, so that piece of it basically works. Um, but I haven't actually put together or taken the data from the spreadsheet and put together a model to actually look at. So it's not very exciting. <laughs> um, and hopefully, if I can get a little further along with it, um, we can put together you know, a graphical front end for it and then hopefully be able to generate some kind of statistics, a graph. I'm not sure. I mean, it'd be interesting to know what they did at Battle Mesh in terms of you know, how, how do you consume the output of these tests. What, what are you supposed to look at? Um, I don't really have an answer for that yet. But hopefully, you know, if we can have a, a virtual battle mesh, if you will, you know, the ability to kind of bring up all these routers and interconnect them synthetically, maybe that will be faster and leave us with more time to look at some of the best ways to visualize this information so that it can make sense of the firmware op options that are out there or, or software options that are out there so that we can you know, move forward with our existing stack in the most painless and efficient way possible. So yeah, doesn't really exist yet, but um, I'll, I'll post the link to the Slack channel uh, software to the GitHub repository. You can check it out. Um, I think ideally we would be able to put that up and run it on a web server somewhere so that anyone could kind of just play around with it without actually having to deploy it. But yeah, feel free to take a look. Oh. You just mentioned we have a regular firmware meetups, so where we discuss this and, uh... and try and build firmware. Yeah, it's 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 a bit frustrating, but uh, we're we're making slow progress. Uh, yeah, there's one tomorrow night. Yeah.